Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to log in to our eLogic Learning Management software. To navigate to this page, in your web browser, type https colon backslash backslash skcftc.elogiclearning.com. Once you have navigated to this page, it is a good idea to make this your home page. In Internet Explorer, go to the top right hand corner of your screen and locate the gear icon. Click on it and select Internet Options. Select Use Current. Select Apply and hit the OK button. Now the eLogic login screen will be your first screen that pops up when you open your web browser. On the login screen you'll notice there are some items here. First is the training calendar that provides up upcoming training events as well as the health and wellness resource button. The health and wellness resource button is available even if you are not logged into the eLogic learning management system. We'll go over this content now. The health and wellness button provides many resources related to health and wellness, for example, fitness, retirement, and suicide prevention. We will go over the fitness button as an example. You'll notice that there is a quick summary on fitness, as well as sample workouts, and a link to the Wellness Fitness Initiative. And as you scroll down, there are many resources on fitness. We will go back to our login screen by hitting this home button. If you navigate to the bottom of the login screen, you will notice that there is uh, the location of the South King County Fire Training Consortium, resources for health and wellness, as well as a way to contact us here at the South King County Fire Training Consortium. Let's go over a couple of these buttons here at the top of the login screen. This is the health and wellness. It provides just a quick selection for the different resources we have in health and wellness. These resources can be found also by clicking on the health and wellness button. If we click the about button, it'll give a quick summary of who we are here at the South King County Fire Training Consortium, as well as our mission, vision, and values, and our contact information. Up here on the right, the final selection is contact and it gives the contact information including our location and telephone number. Let's navigate back to the login screen by selecting the home button. To log in to the eLogic Learning Management System, our username is the first letter of our first name followed by our last name. For example, my name is Jerry Montiel, so my username is G Montiel. The first time you log in to the eLogic Learning Management System, your password will be welcome1, one. all one word, all lowercase. Once you have logged in for the first time, there will be a prompt that pops up prompting you to change your password. Please change your password now. And once you have changed your password, you'll notice that you have navigated to your training homepage, and this is where your training topics will be displayed. We will go over this information in a later video. You'll notice on the left hand side there are many buttons for different topics and we will go over these buttons in a later video. Let's quickly go over the other functionality on our training home screen. You'll notice in the top right hand corner is a logout button and that will obviously log you out of the system. Here is a, an image. You can click on this image to upload a picture of yourself if you don't like this um, picture of a silhouette. And then the menu button here with the three dashes will quickly go over. You have access to your training history. The training history provides a record, a transcript of your completed training and we will go over this in more detail in a future video. If we go back up to our menu in the top right hand corner, you'll notice there is notification or task list. 
This provides a summary of the notifications that have been sent to you, for example, uh, upcoming classes or announcements. The final item in our menu on the top right hand corner is My Profile. If we click on My Profile, it brings up your personal information. It shows your organization, your email, and if anything looks incorrect, please notify us at the consortium and we will get it changed for you. Now let's navigate back to our training home screen by clicking the training button. This is our training home screen. We will go over this in more detail in a future video. Thank you for watching how to log in to our eLogic learning management system.